Good morning from Galway, Ireland. It's another rainy day, unfortunately, because we're going on a cruise today out to the Aran Islands and the Cliffs of Moher. You, if you don't think you know what the Cliffs of Moher are, you've probably seen pictures of them. Um, they're just stunningly beautiful. We are going to a hotel just up the road from our B&B to meet the bus for pickup. So we'll see you in a few. are seeing lots of little dry stone walls around here. There's no mortar holding these together. They're incredibly difficult to build. I actually went about five years ago out to the Burren College of Art and I took a class, a weekend class, to try to learn how to build these walls. Now, some of the walls in this area date back over 4,000 years. My wall lasted about four days. Nearly sunny. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go find our buggy. or you can see how thick the walls were I'd say it's a good five to six feet tiny little opening wow so cool
sun has come out for our return and there goes the dolphin following that ferry. <laughs> Another bucket list item accomplished. This is even more beautiful than I expected. We're at the Cliffs of Moher and we're heading down to the bus. Sadly, this is our last day. Well, really our last sightseeing day in Ireland. We're heading to Dublin tomorrow to catch a plane. I'm going to Zurich. He's going to Sweden. He's going to meet me in Zurich in a few days. Um, but this was a great last day. Thankfully, the weather cleared up almost exactly at the time we got over to the island. And uh, it stayed relatively sunny and clear since then. And we've been able to really enjoy the sights. The island was fantastic. Um, I think we had enough time to see the island we did the we did the horse cart yeah if, really we, yeah, if we had tried to walk it um, I don't think we would have seen very much because the steep hills and all that kind of stuff but the uh, plus the carriage the guy that does the carriage is born and raised there knows the history knows what everything is so that was really cool and then here we had about an hour and a half I was a little feeling a little queasy from the ride back on the boat we had like five foot swells so coming back to the island was really rough and uh, I usually get car sick and seasick so I'm surprised I didn't get really really sick because I forgot to bring my motion sickness patch but I just got a little bit queasy and uh, a little peppermint gum and a Sprite fixed me up and I'm doing good so um, now we're headed back to the bus now right, guys we have left the shell and the sandstone behind we're coming back onto that wonderful limestone plateau the burn. But there's something here that shouldn't be here, and that is boulders, massive granite boulders. How did they get here? Go back to the last ice age. The ice was dragging itself down across the island. And when it finally met the Atlantic here about 10,000 years ago, it started to melt and it dumped these massive boulders. If you go to County Donegal, uh, go to County Mayo, or Galway, go down to um, Cork or Kerry, have a look at the mountainsides. They're covered in glacial scarring. That was caused by these very boulders that now litter the landscape here, being dragged underneath the ice flow. So we are on a landscape that's about 360 million years old, looking at boulders that were deposited here a little over 10,000 years ago.